I just feel like I understand that sometimes we're in a place where we don't really know what to do anymore. And I really want to give you a little push in the right direction. What's up everyone and welcome to the video. Today I'm gonna make a rather short video. I hope so, I try to keep it short. I wanna talk about sleep in poker. Um, but before we jump into the, uh, into the topic, I wanna make two announcements. The first one is I'm gonna be offering a free coaching slash webinar session with anyone who is not doing well at the moment. Doing well in terms of um, yeah, having hit rock bottom and being on the downswing and really trying everything. Um, I just feel like I understand that sometimes we're in a place where we don't really know what to do anymore. And I really want to give you a little push in the right direction. I don't have so many details on what it's going to be because I really want to make it dependent on um, where you struggle at. Maybe it's mindset related. Maybe it's poker related. I don't know. And listen, this is not going to be some sort of um, where you need to sign up for something and then there's going to be an upsell or some hidden fees or whatever. I just, I mean, I receive a lot of messages and um, a lot of the, these messages make me really think and I just want to give back something. And you don't need to be afraid that there's anything hidden. Um, and I'm also going to be selecting those people. So the way you can get into that is by me picking you. And I just want to make sure that they're not just some, yeah, people who are bored and just need some bit of entertainment or some distraction from their boring lives. I really want to have a very positive and healthy work environment. I don't know how long it's going to take, maybe an hour, maybe two hours, um, where we're going to come together, maybe review some hands, maybe we discuss some topics, some issues you have, where others can benefit from it. And there are only going to be a few requirements that you need to fulfill in order to participate in this coaching or webinar, however you want to call it. Um, I also want to give you the opportunity to connect with some other players. I know we have Discord and we provide you a lot of opportunities to connect and, and make poker friends, which is essential on this journey because it's so lonely. Uh, maybe you're going to meet some people that you will, outside of this coaching afterwards, get together, review your hands, discuss topics, push each other, support each other, and simply, yeah, just, just connecting with like-minded people, which, as you know, for success is very crucial. So the requirements, you need to send an email to application at raiseyouredge.com. Application at raiseyouredge.com. I'm not going to share actually that many requirements because I don't want you just to fake something in order to fit the requirements. Just tell me why do you think you should be part of this coaching. Why do you think I should invite you? Another requirement, and listen, um, don't try to bullshit me. Don't try to um, yeah, fake something. Um, if you say you're on a 100 big nine downer, I might ask you, all right, send me a send from your PokerStars account so I can verify it's actually you. You might think, I mean, I'm not doing that to, for that one cent, but Listen, guys, I have heard the crazy story, people trying to pretend something. So I really want to make sure only the right people are joining. I'm really only helping those that really need it the most right now. Um, I might not respond to everyone. If I respond and I send you the link for the coaching, it means you're selected. It might be only with five people, 20 people, 50 people. I try to keep the group small, the circle small. And it just, I really want to work on a individual basis. I'm not saying this is going to be a constant this is the one a one-time thing and i really hope i can give you a little push in the right direction again um one one thing i want to tell you don't write a fucking novel i don't have the time to read a text for 10 minutes keep it short um you can share as much as you think is suitable um it could be in five sentences could be 10 sentences but try to keep it short and yeah if i have the impression that you might be a good fit into that group I will invite you for this coaching. Again, there are no obligations. There's nothing to follow up or where you commit to something. That's just a one-time thing. I want to get together some people. And another thing, um, 
no, I'm not going to share that because then otherwise you you uh, you try to fake it. And uh, I just let's keep it. I, I have a few more requirements and I will see whether depending on your text you match or not. And uh, of course, I can cannot invite hundreds of people. So it's going to be a very exclusive group of people us working together for this one hour, two hours. And yeah, talking about topics that um, hopefully going to help you. Um, I might record it. We might um, use it for our community. So if you want to join, you also um, <clears throat> commit to us using the content. Um, I'm not doing this for the sake of um, growing, actually, but I do it for the sake of that others can learn from it. Uh, we're not going to reveal your identity. Of course, uh, we respect the privacy of everyone. Uh, if you even don't don't feel or you feel afraid of, of, of sharing it because someone might recognize the, uh, your voice. You can even submit your question before that. We can talk about it. Uh, we can you know, just use the chat. So every, everything uh, remains anonymous. But all the content I create, I this is my mission. And I don't care what people think about it or what they don't think. I don't care. I want as many people as possible benefit from it. If I So if I do something like this, I want also to share it with others if i think maybe it's it's not worth sharing for whatever reason then <clears throat> but i want to have the options that a there's someone else that might benefit from it or it's so good for youtube let's put it on that and others can learn from it as well that is my mission that is so important to me so if you feel like if you're too afraid no i don't want to share that then you should better not join uh so but i'm not even i'm not even sure if i want to record it depends um i want to record it i want to have the option to put that on youtube or share that in our Discord community, whatever. Uh, something else, I'm gonna take a break from poker um, and I wanna talk about sleep. And even though I don't consider myself as a, as a, as well profound uh, when it comes to the topic of sleep, of course, I've read some stuff and um, yeah, I wanna, I'm gonna take a break from poker and I'm going to focus on my sleep. I recently, um, realize that my sleep is not um, the best and that I felt tired throughout the day and it was a very long grind with Poker Masters, Super High Roller Bowl I'm, and I did, actually didn't play a lot from the Super High Roller Bowl but Poker Masters and um, Scoop and very often I went to bed at 5, 6 and then as you know with poker you know for one or two more hours this very key hand stays around for a little longer than you would like and then it, you have a hard time falling asleep and then I sleep at eight or nine, get up at two or three. And then also since I have a business, I cannot just get up at five or six. Very often I need to um, yeah, talk to a lawyer, talk to an accountant, to have a meeting. And a lot of this stuff has to happen before 6 p.m. when other people finish their jobs. So um, it was a very rough time and I really felt like it puts a lot of, pressure on my sleep cycle and i tried from monday to saturday to go to bed early and get up a little earlier so around 1 or 2 a.m and then get up around 11 a.m 10 a.m i think this would be the perfect sleep rhythm for me um but then once sunday kicks in it kind of breaks all or it 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 destroys all the progress i had from these previous five days and then i had to start from scratch so and I've read, I've talked to some people and they said, yeah, it's, you need to, to three, four weeks build up this sleep cycle without a break. And then once you have that established, you can have a few breaks uh, or a few exceptions, right? Just because you get up later one day doesn't mean you cannot keep up to your uh, sleep routine. So that's my intention. I'm going to take a break from poker for a month. I will probably be back grinding online. Uh, the WSOP mid-July, and july depends on how I feel. If I really feel like, um, okay, <clears throat> I'm ready. And then I can Sunday also grind until 6, get up at 12 on Monday and next uh, Monday evening go to bed at 1 a.m. And I don't need to lie there for two hours because very often when I tried, my body, 1 a.m. for my body felt like 5 a.m. or 5 p.m. for other people. It felt like 
I'm in the afternoon state. My body is in this state of still working because it's way too early. So my body needs to adapt to, all right, midnight, 1 a.m., now it's time to go to bed. And I really struggled unwinding. I really struggled uh, feeling tired, didn't feel tired. I felt like I needed to do some more work. Um, I feel like now slowly I'm getting there. I'm sleeping around 2 or 3 and it feels actually quite good. I'm getting up around 11, 12, now one or two hours earlier, getting up, going to bed. I think this is where I'm trying to get it. Maybe... And I've never been an early bird. Maybe if it works out, I also try to even go back, go to bed earlier, uh, get up, I don't know, 6, 7 a.m. <clears throat> and to be honest, I mean, I res this is a very common question. How do you manage poker and sleep? <sighs> I can't I can't give you the perfect answer on that. And I don't, I don't want to make try, try to make up something so I appear as wise. Um, that's how I deal with it. I think it's very crucial to listen to your body when it gives you the signals and when you have a very fucked up sleep cycle because due to poker, you have to stay up late. Um, I think it's important to maybe a few weeks, a few weeks a year to, uh, to reset your body, try to bring back your sleep cycle, what is considered a little normal. If you have the opportunity to um, yeah, stay away from poker, I think it's, it's definitely difficult as a poker player. I wish I would uh, <laughs> play from Canada. This would be the perfect uh, grind routine, of course. Um, <clears throat> but if you live in the time zone where you have to grind nights, I think just from based from what I know and what I've experienced, it's not sustainable for, for many, many, many years. Like It's probably sustainable for a year or two. Uh, but then the older we get, you will also feel that... Uh, <clears throat> I think sleeping around, um, yeah, uh, before one or two a.m. is is, is probably going to be better. I mean, there are people that claim that everyone has its own inner clock and it doesn't matter when you go to bed. I've read sources where it says between one and three a.m. you have the deepest sleep, and if you miss out on that too often and you go to bed afterwards, it can be can impact your health. It 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 can yeah put harm on your health and. But to be honest, I don't know what's right. I'm just trying to find out what works for me. And, and, and I, I, I definitely have to say when I have this sleep cycle around 1 or 2 a.m., I feel much better than, let's say, three, four weeks in a row going to bed or sleeping at 8, getting up at 2 or 3. Like these are very extremes, what very often happens in, in those um, <clears throat> poker, during the, those poker series. Um, so listen to your body. And I think I'm also not someone now that I try still to grind a bit, try to fix my sleep. I understood. I tried it. It didn't work. I understood. All right. I need to make a decision. Even though I really would like to play poker right now. I also uh, got this ring. Uh, Elliot Rowe recommended this to me. It's, um, it's an aura ring that tracks everything around sleep. And it's kind of like a cheat for me because I'm just a very statistical guy. I like data and it provides me so much different data and I try to beat my sleep score. So I'm kind of subconsciously, um, yeah, having a little bit of an incentive to, um, yeah, sleep better than the previous night because it's, it's good. It's not really tangible, right? Like you can't really measure sleep quality. It's just more feeling. But when you have it black and white, it works really good for me to see, all right, last night was not so good. And I also have it black and white or I, I see it in an app or, um, and yeah, I, I tried it out and I have to say it it's pretty good for me. It also tracks my activity during the day. Um, if you want to find out more, aura ring um just just check it out it's it definitely helped me uh, but i'm also i'm a type because a it knows i'm someone i like data i like to see what what are what works right to get the immediate feedback something that is tangible something i can work with and then i know there's no room for excuses so this really helps me to um keep my sleep on track um and improve my sleep in that regards apart from that i think um what I'm also trying is, of course, especially as a poker player, we not don't see that much sunlight. So I try to go out a little more, um, get up at the same time, go to bed at the same time, keep it dark, keep it keep it cool. I follow that pretty much as much as I can. And yeah, no heavy food before the bed. Melatonin is supposed to be, I don't know, I've heard sources, it's, it's, it's good, it helps. I've heard sources, it's, it's more like... Um, um, yeah, hoax or I don't know. Um, 
yeah, you, you, you hear so many different opinions on different, different sources. So uh, at the end, you got to try out what works for you. Um, so I'm going to, I'm, I'm, of course, don't worry. There's still going to poke a content coming in this channel. So much to review from Scoop. Um, I might do a, a cash game session, maybe a PLO session, um, set, sit and go session. I'm probably going to do more sit and go content where I can play during the week in the afternoon or in the early evening. I can play for one or two hours and then finish and it doesn't interfere with my sleep at all. But I will take a break from tournaments for around a month. So if you don't see me around, I don't quit. I'm not broke. Everything is fine. And I actually do enjoy now also putting in more effort uh, or having more time, enjoying the summer a little bit, working with Razor Edge, Razor Edge Gaming, creating more content, updating the Channel Master class. And last but not least, that's the last announcement for today. I, uh, I was actually, I almost forgot that. And uh, we already announced it last week on our social media that we are going to have a WSOP uh, webinar that aims to prepare you for the WCP series. It's gonna be three webinars, pre-flop, post-flop, ICM. Got to put in a lot of work to provide you with very, very, very practical advice so you know in various spots what to do. This is gonna be a paid one. So if you wanna spend some money, come, give me your money, sign up, learn some poker. Um, and yeah, that's it for this video. Let me know, how do you manage to get the right balance between uh, yeah, as a poker player and your sleep? Um, maybe you have some good experience with something that you could recommend to others. Uh, what is your take on that? Do you believe that you should follow a certain cycle? Maybe you should that you should try to sleep before one to get this high quality deep sleep between one and three a.m. What else works for you? I think that would be super cool to read. I'm always interested in feedback. And yeah, if you want to apply for the free webinar or free coaching session um, application at raiseyouredge.com, but only if you feel like you hit rock bottom, you don't know else what to do. Um, and then I will decide who's going to be eligible for this webinar and then see you guys there. Have a good one.